English, English. Open your English textbook, poem one, fourth from one. Hello, hello, hello. You can hear me now. On here. Yeah? Hello. Why you want to see my camera? You can hear me now. You your sister. Why you want to open my camera? Why you want to see my face? You your sister. You your sister. Can you hear me? Hello. Okay. Mute. Mute your sister. Yes. Open your textbook. Poem or some of page number one. Yes. Page number one. What we did in the previous class? What did we do? What was the poem about? What was the poem about in the previous class? What did we do? Yes. Oh, summer. What is summer? What is summer? What is summer? What is summer? What we do? Season. Very good. It is a season. What do we? What do we do in summer season? Season. It is a season. It is a hot season. What do we do? What do we do in summer season? Do you like summer? Do, do you like summer season? Children, children, please mute your system. Mute your system. Do you like summer? Yes. Okay. Why? Why do you like summer? Okay. Why do you like summer? Yes, you get a break. You get a long break because summer. You get a summer break. You get summer vacation soon after your annual exam. Okay. Now till I finish explaining the poem to you, till I finish explaining the poem to you, please don't interrupt in between. Don't ask me questions. Once I finish explaining, then you can ask me questions. Okay, if you have any doubts, you can ask me. I will clear your doubts. So till I explain to you the poem, you be attentive and listen carefully to what I am talking or what I am going to share with you about this poem. Go somewhere, right, children? Okay. Now, uh, when you think of summer, when you think of summer season, what are the things that comes to your mind? When you get a long break after your final exam, what comes to your mind? What comes to your mind when you say, oh, my final exams are over, my final exams are over, now I have a summer break. Yes, you feel very happy, you feel very excited. So what are the things that comes to your mind? The first thing that comes to your mind when you get summer break is the picture of a water park. You start dreaming about water park and which and spending time with your family or friend and having fun in the water park because usually all water parks are open for everyone only during the summer day. The second one, because of the weather, because of the climate, you think about eating or enjoying different kinds of ice creams, different kinds of ice creams. And summer season, you get many seasonal fruits which you enjoy, especially watermelon. So, you enjoy eating the seasonal fruit that comes in summer, that is watermelon and ripe and juicy mango. And then the next one, during your summer break, you feel you Along with your parents, so you force your parents to plan for family trips and picnics where you feel like going to some beaches, coastal areas because you want to go and enjoy in the water because the climate is demand, that is the climate is weather, very hot. The next one, every day, even if you are at home or if you are gone outing, 
you feel very thirsty it is because of the season it is because of the climate so you feel very thirsty you keep drinking cold water cold juice that is cold drinks or you start drinking buttermilk or you drink lassi so you keep drinking because you feel more thirsty so these are the things that comes to our mind when we think about summer so this is a beautiful poem yes the title of the poem is o summer the title of the poem is o summer in the previous class i have already explained the three stanza that is page number 1 the three what you call as paragraph but in poem we call it as stanza i have already completed but some of the children have not joined or not view so i repeat again the first page that is the first three stanza so pay attention and listen to this beautiful message given in this poem summer can be chilling but it can also be fun the trick is to stay cool despite the hot hot sun so the first stanza of the poem tells us summer can be chilling why do we use the word chilling the word chilling is given in green color that i like today green color summer can be chilling but it can also be fun the trick is to stay cool despite the hot hot sun so what is the meaning of this four lines given in the first stanza the meaning of this lines that is given in the first stanza is summer can be chilling the poem is using the word chilling for summer season because you get very tired in summer season it is tiredness and you sweat a lot because of the weather so the word chilling is highlighted by the green color by the poem saying summer can be chilling you feel very exhausted when you go out and come in the hot sun so that is why the word chilling is used there but it can be fun so you can also enjoy though it is very hot the climate is very sultry you can enjoy summer season so the poet says summer can be chilling but it can also be fun you can enjoy the season that is summer season the trick is to stay cool despite the hot or sun summer usually people sweat the lot everywhere you will find people moving with umbrellas and cap and glasses and you all know, that is to avoid the sun's rays the heat of the sun so but the poem says it can also be fun if you remain cool if you don't panic or if you don't you know uh, keep worrying about the heat and of the uh, sweat or humidity if you have to remain cool then you can enjoy summer season so this is the meaning of the four lines that is given in the first stanza summer can be chilly but it can, but it can also be fun the trick is to stay cool despite the hot hot sun so the poet is comparing the summer season to chilly like uh, it is very hot you get very tired exhausted you don't want to go out He says, but it can be fun. If you think the other way, it can be fun. And the trick is, the best idea is you have to remain cool, and then even the summer season you will enjoy. The second stanza: Think of ice lemonade in a pitcher, cold ice cream and cookies of the fruit salad mother makes with melons and bananas and. Yes, in summer season we get variety of seasonal fruits. Yes, mother makes variety of fruit salads which we enjoy in summer season. Then, in the previous class, the month of April, Sunya Ma'am showed you how to make lemonade, how to make lemon juice, and we usually want to have more and more juice in summer, cold juice. it can be any fruit juice or it can be lime juice which we call as lemonade so in the second stanza the poet is telling us how to remain cool how to enjoy how to have fun in summer this is think of the ice in lemonade you make lemon juice and you add some juice of ice in that 
the laminate the lamin simply becomes cold and refreshing so the poet says think of ice laminate in a picture kept in a earthen pot cold ice cream and fruit teas different kinds of ice creams the right of ice creams are available and fruit teas so you can enjoy this only in summer and of the fruit salads mother makes since it is summer season you get variety of fruits so mother will make fruit salad for you which you will enjoy during the summer season and what type of fruits it can be melons like watermelons marshmallows bananas berries mangoes and many other fruits which is available in summer season so that is in the second stanza the poet is asking us how to enjoy summer how to keep cool think of the ice creams the lemonade and the fruit salad that mummy will make at home which you can enjoy only during the summer season in the third stanza the third stanza the poet says he describes summer this is summer is sunny or days obviously summer season you will feel very hot you cannot Uh, live or you cannot stay without using a fan or a AC or a cooler. You need fan. The fan will be on from morning till night and throughout the night. And you can you use AC, you use a cooler so that you may remain cool. So the poet says, summer is sultry, hot days, very humidity, you sweat, the body becomes very sticky, sticky. You feel very uncomfortable. Any day you just go out and come. Immediately you want to change and go for a shower. In a day, we might take two to three times shower because of the heat. Summer is sultry, hot day, and sudden evening showers. When the night air is sweetened with the fragrance of jasmine flowers. The poet again says, "Summer is hot and sultry. You sweat. You feel very uncomfortable, but." All of a sudden, on a uh, summer day, on a hot summer day, all of a sudden, if it rains, you enjoy the rain in summer. You enjoy the rain in summer, and the night is sweetened by the fragrance of jasmine flowers. So the flower jasmine, yes, the name of the flower is jasmine. In uh, in Hindi, we call we call it as mogra. Right, we call it mogra. Uh, in summer season, all these flowers they bloom and they spread the fragrance. This flower jasmine has got sweet smell, so it spreads in the night. It is very pleasing for a nose. So this is the first three stanza on page number one. We are described by the poet. Now turn your page. To page two, page two, stanza four. In stanza four, the poet says, "Summer is the time to catch up with old friends. Summer is the time to catch up with old friends and all the new movies in town. All thanks to the long summer break, you are free to break out of school bonds." So, in the fourth stanza, the poet he tells us. Summer season, you get a long break, long break from school. It is time for you to have fun, go outing, go picnics, and spend time with your near and dear ones, and go to your villages, your relatives. So, summer is the time to catch up with friends, old friends. Entire year you busy with your school schedule, with your school work, writing, reading. Preparing for exam, completing notes, completing activities, doing homework, reading, finding out words. So you are busy throughout the year. So you don't get a chance to meet your friends. You don't get a chance to meet your friends. So the poet says, summer is the time to catch up with your old friends, to meet your old friends, to talk with them, spend time with them, and also to watch all the new movies that are available. Now during your regular school time, your parents do not allow you to watch movies. So when you get a summer break, you can fulfill these uh, dreams of yours 
of watching the movies is your life. Going out and meeting your friends whom you have not met for a long time. And the poet again says, all times with the long summer break. It is because of the summer, long summer break. It is because of the long summer break. We are very really thankful because we can do all these things which we couldn't do it. We can do it now. He says, summer is the time to catch up with old friends and all the new movies in town. All times to the long summer break, you are free to break out of school bonds. No restrictions from school. During your summer vacation, the school or your teacher, your class teacher or your subject teacher will not irritate you or your bother you because it is vacation time. She will not give you any assignments, she will not give you any assessments, she will not give you any activity because you have already finished your annual exam and you are free to have a break, that is the long summer break. So, the poet, poet says the school will not uh, interrupt in your uh, summer break time. So, you are free to enjoy your vacation, that is summer vacation. In the next, in the next stanza, the poet says, so while summers may be while summer may be dusty wind and frequent power cuts, it's also when red watermelon sprouts and the glorious mango season starts. In the next stanza, the poet says, So, while summer may be dusty wind. Okay, in the summer season, the wind is very dusty. It carries all sorts of dust from here and there and the breeze is also very uh, different. So the poet says, so while summer may be dusty winds and frequent and frequent power. So there might be at times power supply may be disconnected. And if there is no power supply, you go mad because you cannot watch the TV or you cannot watch the movie. And you cannot switch on the fan or the AC or the cooler. So he said, in spite of all this, you have to remain cool because it is your summer vacation, it is your summer break, you are getting so much to enjoy. So the poet says, while summer may be dusty winds and frequent, frequent in the sense, often, very soon, many a times, okay, frequent power cuts, that is, cut off power supply. It's also when red watermelon sprout. So this is the season where you get plenty watermelon fruit, that is watermelon. Watermelon, you enjoy watermelon only during the summer season because that is the season when watermelon should grow in plenty. It is available in uh, sufficient. You can enjoy the juicy uh, watermelon. It's also when the red watermelon sprout, I mean, that is the season when watermelon grows in large quantity and you can enjoy the freshness of watermelon. And then, and the glorious mango season starts. The poem again he adds, he says, and the glorious mango season starts. So all of you must have enjoyed the juicy, sweet and juicy mango during your summer season. That is in the month of April, May, you get a lot of mangoes in the market. Different kinds of mangoes and different tastes. Yes, different tastes and different kinds of mangoes which you get, which uh, is available in the market and it is only during the summer season that you can enjoy the goodness of mango. So this is the season where you get plenty of watermelons and plenty of mango which you can enjoy only in the summer season. And the last stanza, it says, it's summer when all this happens. It's summer when all this happens. 
the action in our class. So, how can you still think that summer a real brand? For some people, the poet says, all this kind of activities, going out on a picnic, planning for a family outing, going on the beaches, going to a water park, going out shopping, going to your relatives' house, going to your villages, yes, doing shopping, all this happens, all this is possible. Only when you have a long break, and you get a long break only in uh, only during the summer season. So he says it's all summer when all these things happen. That is outing, going to a picnic, yes, shopping, visiting your village, going to beaches or going to some holy places. This is all possible only because of the summer break, summer season. Because of the summer season, because of the heat, you get a long break from school and this is the time all these kind of activities happen. So you enjoy with your family, your parents. Right? And it, the poet also says the action no, never plans. And whatever activities you plan to do, or whatever outings you plan to do, or whatever you have decided to do during your summer break, it never goes slow. Here the word plan means it becomes less. You plan out things, there are many uh, weddings coming in the family, or some festivals, or some religious ceremonies, or you plan out so many things. Nothing happens, or nothing. You never make any changes. It goes very smoothly. It is not because it is summer season. We should not do or we should not go home. Nothing happens. What you plan, because that is your summer season, you have a long break and you plan and you enjoy that season. So, in the last stanza, the poet says, It's summer when all this happens. It's summer when all this happens. The actions never flag. So, how can you still think that summer is a real brand? Some people think, some people think summer season is very boring. Some people think summer, summer season is very boring because of the hot climate, the hot sun. Because they sweat and they don't want to go out of their house. Because if they go out of their house, they have to bear the but I tell you children, summer season is the best season because you get so many variety of things to enjoy and you get so much of excitement that you go out, outing, picnic, visiting your relatives, your friends, yes, so all these kind of things you can do only when you have a long break and that long break you get only in your summer period. So this is all about the poem O Summer. The poem is O Summer and the poet has given his shared his feelings. He has conveyed a message to us through this poem that summer is beautiful, summer is enjoyable, summer is not boring. You can do many, 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 lot, many things during your summer break. Enjoy, you will never get bored. And once you are relaxed and you have enjoyed, then you can come back to school and start again with your new session for your next class, whichever class you have been or promoted, you will start it as a class. So, this is all about the poem for summer. I read the poem, children. Pay attention. I read the entire poem. If you have any doubts, I will tell you. Summer, oh summer. Summer can be killing, but it also can be fun. The trick is to stay cool despite the hot, hot sun. Think of ice lemonade in a picture. Ice, cold ice cream and cookies of the fruit salad mother makes. With melons, bananas and berries. Summer is sultry or days and sudden evening showers. When the night air is heated, 
with the fragrance of jasmine flowers. Summer's the time to catch up with your friends and all the new movies in town. All thanks to the long summer break, you are free to break out of school bonds. So while summer may be dusty winds and frequent power cuts, it's also where red watermelons sprout and the glorious mango season starts. It's summer when all this happens, the action never flags. So, how can you still think that summer's a real drag? So, children, summer is a beautiful season. You get so many things to do and so many things to enjoy, so many things to eat, and you are relaxing after your uh, school exam, that is your final exam, and it is a time for you to relax, have fun with your family, friends. So, don't ever say that summer is boring because it is of summer you get a break from vacation, you can go out, okay, for picnics and tours and outings, then you can enjoy different varieties, different kinds of ice creams, cookies, you can Enjoy the different kinds of fruit salads your mother makes. And not only that, you enjoy the cold drinks that is like you can enjoy the caramel, you can enjoy the lassies, or you can enjoy different kinds of lemonade with different flavors. And also, the poet says, in, it is only during the summer that the flower jasmine spreads its fragrance. So, it is very pleasant to get the fragrance from jasmine flower and it only happens during the summer season. So, summer's time, uh, it is time for you to go and meet and spend time with your own friends, go out in, go out or watch movies which you are not able to watch during your school days and the poet says we have to thank the summer break because it is giving you a time for freedom, a time for relaxation and during your summer break there won't be any homework or any assignment from the school, from your teachers. And in the second last stanza, the poet again says even if the summer uh, is going to be a uh, very dusty winds blow, yet and uh, if there are power supply uh, is disconnected, yet we should not reflect or we should not say that summer is boring because you can enjoy the freshness of the seasonal fruits, that is, the red watermelons and the glorious and the sweet and juicy mangoes which you get in summer. You can enjoy the goodness of uh, mango. But in the last stanza, the poet says, it's summer and all this happens. It happens only in summer because this is the time for you to relax, enjoy. So it's all, uh, it's summer when all this happens, the action never lags. We don't say, oh, it is summer, I will not go out and play. Oh, it is summer, I will not go out and play. Oh, it is summer, I will not go and visit my relatives. No, it doesn't make any difference because it is summer or hot, you go and you spend time and you enjoy. So, we should not say that summer is boring. In fact, it is a beautiful season. Though, we have to keep ourselves cool and enjoy the liberty that is given, that is uh, vacation. You get the summer vacation you can enjoy. So this is a beautiful poem, O Sama, and the poet has given a beautiful message to us. So all seasons will have their own importance, just like the rainy season is important, we, we need the winter season, and at the same time we need the summer 
season. So all three seasons that are daily, winter, and monsoon, all three are important for us. So all three seasons they have their own importance in their own way. So today we have studied about it is summer in the form of poem. In the textbook, page number two, page number two, read and answer. We have a small exercise that is write T for the two sentences and F for the false sentences. In your textbook, there are small boxes given there, columns are given there. You will write T if it is true and F if it is false, or you can write the full form that is T R U P true and F A L S E false. The first, it says, write T for the two state sentences and F for the false sentences. The first one, in below the, under that, the first sentence, the trick is to stay cool in summer. So the sentence says, the trick is to stay cool in summer. So, if you check in the poem, the poem says, summer can be chilly, but it also can be fun. The trick is to stay cool. So, if you stay cool, summer is going to be fun. So, the statement is true. Write two children, T R U E true, and in the box, write T. So that you understand the statement is true. You write T in the box and next to the sentence you can write in complete word that is true. The trick is to stay cool in summer. The second one, summer is cool and pleasant. Summer is cool and pleasant. Summer is not cool and pleasant so the statement is false. We have to make it, we have to feel, we have to enjoy and but summer is hot right but because of the break when we go out and spend time here and there summer is can be fun and you can enjoy but the statement here is false summer is cool and pleasant right summer is hot it cannot be cool so the statement is false right f a l S E false F A L S E false and in the box write T no, sorry F like F for false. Third one summer breaks are not short. Summer break summer breaks are not short. The statement is True or false, children, the statement is summer breaks are long. Summer breaks are long. Summer breaks are not short. So it is true. The statement is true because summer breaks are long. Summer breaks are not short. So the third one is true because summer, summer breaks are long. Fourth one, the mango season starts in monsoon season. Now monsoon is nothing but the rainy season. Monsoon season is the rainy season. So the fourth one is the mango season starts in monsoon season. So this statement is falls to get mangoes in summer. Right? Fourth one as false. You get mangoes in summer season. So the fourth state sentence is false. And fifth one, fifth one, during summer there is always less action. So this statement is false. Whether it is rainy season or winter season or summer season, our actions will be the same. So, during the summer season, there is always less action. So, this statement is also false. Right? F A L 
as we fall. So children, so with this, we will end today's class because it's time up for the next session. So this is the beautiful poem, Kosama. Read the poem, read the poem. Learn the first stanza, learn the first four lines of the poem. Learn to decide the poem, the first four lines. It is very easy and very simple. Only the first four lines you have to memorize. Memorize the first four lines of the poem. Read the poem, understand. If you still have any doubts, if you still have any doubts, in the next session when we have class, you can ask me or you can put in the doubt section. In your app, there is a section called doubt. Right? Have you seen it? You can put your doubts there. I will clear your doubts there. Or else, when we have next session, when we have a online class, you can ask me your doubts. I will clear. So, read the poem, understand. If any word you have not understood, if you are finding any words difficult, if you have not understood the meaning, ask you. And for the remaining part of the textual work, we will complete in the next session. Right? So, any doubt, you ask me, send it uh, in your doubt section or on your online box. So, till then, take care, be safe, okay? And see you soon in the next class. Okay, children? Bye, take care, bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.